one fucking box. That and my reputation, which is in tatters. A man's got a heart, hasn't he? Joking apart, hasn't he? I know I'd be the first to admit that I like the odd flagger. <laughs> but I'm finding it hard to be constantly sat on the wagon. I believe you the situation. Got the fella be a piss and all his life. All the lagers. And the nails. Need to settle down and get myself a wife. And the wife would cook and sew for me and cut for me and go for me and go for me and I get me the figure she would wag it in my be and she would take for me. This is the she made for me. I think I better think it out again. <laughs> A wife you can keep anyway. I'd rather sleep anyway. Left without any cider in the fridge and I'm feeling quite low. So I need to send Dodger down to Thrashers to steal some stronghold. I believe. The situation. I must quickly look at everyone I know. Try some people like Brian Cromwell, who can help me make a really impressive show. I will own it off the fancy club somewhere like the Irish club and wave at all the duchesses like Dean and Linda Murchis if they think they love my new estate. Good morning, Mr. Magistrate. <laughs> I think I'd better think it up again. <laughs> So where shall I go? Somebody? Who do I know? Nobody. All my dearest companions have always been wankers and twats. <laughs> so in my time of life, I might as well just get pissed as a rat. <laughs> I believe you in the situation. If you want to drink, you've got to in a pub. Is it such a humiliation for a robber to perform an honest job? So a job I get impossibly, I wonder who my boss will be. And will he have a change of heart when I turn up his house of fun? Do I really want a job? I'd rather drink and steal a job. I think I'd better drink it. I think I'd better drink it.